Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Adventures New Game Minus 4 video, episode 26, and I have done some off-camera infinity runs, mostly automated, all I need to do is click the big crunch button, and looking here, it took way shorter than I expected, I expected it to take maybe half an hour to an hour to infinity, no, it took 16 minutes so I could get this achievement, which means that I can get a lot more galaxy points, and that's why... I got an infinity in just 8 minutes and 37 seconds, which is just huge. This allows me, this gave me the that's faster achievement. It doesn't really actually do all that much. I guess I could help with beginning infinities, but this is all of a sudden huge because the thing is that now it's less than a sixth of an hour, maybe less than a seventh of an hour. So this means that I'm getting a multiplier. It's actually, okay, it's not like 30 to 35 times, but it's still probably about 10 to maybe 20 times the amount of galaxy points as usual, which is huge. Like, all of this is just huge. Hopefully, this will allow me to beat Challenge 12. That's what I'm going for, because I want it fully automated. So I'm going to get this upgrade here. It's just going to give a little multiplier to normal dimensions, and... Start the challenge. So each normal dimension produces the dimension two tiers before it. First dimensions pr produce reduced antimatter. Galaxies are far more powerful. So yeah, oh, galactic sacrifice. Oh, infinity without gaining anything, even though it never tells me that. And yeah, challenge twelve is the hardest in the other new game minus X mods. And while while this is just going because I'm just letting automation do its thing right now. You notice that these upgrades, remember these upgrades are getting more and more powerful each infinity? Well, this is they're now capped at E6 times. This happens with the other New Game Minus X mods as well. So it helps the first few infinities, but then after that, it doesn't help all that much. Th these are up to 16 times. This is up to 1.2 times. Even with dilation nerfs, that's pretty useful to get. And here is, actually that was not the first galaxy, that was the dimension shift, because... The automation is just bad. Maybe what I should do is is just turn off, off automatic dimension boost. I can just press the D key, and that's going to be way quicker. Because galaxies, since they're far more powerful, they're far more useful than they were before. And I still have my, ga my galaxy upgrades. That is something to note. So that's I feel like that is really good here, because... I don't have to grind all these upgrades. So you can see, I can get one galaxy point from Galactic Sacrifice. I don't really think that's what I want to do at this point. I think what I want to do is I want to get a second galaxy. It's, I only need, um, okay, it's E43 it's a matter. I guess I can Dimensional Sacrifice to try to speed things up slightly. But yeah, Challenge 12 is the worst challenge of the entire thing. As, as you can see, actually, here, it's like its own category. Normally, you only need to reach Galactic Sacrifice, but there's no Galactic Sacrifice to beat Challenge. At least, that's what I think. I'll export just in case, like, see if it does anything. Actually, it does do something. All I need... Well, it kind of did something. I got the achievement. Did I beat the challenge, though? Do I have an automatic big crunch? Yes, I do. Okay, wow, I thought I, it's so weird, this, this challenge is so weird. I thought since, oh, it resets your infinity run, you only need to reach infinity. No, you just need to reach Galactic Sacrifice. That makes no sense, but anyway, I'm going to do it, and um, this means that I'm going to get automatic infinity points, because, well, with this achievement, yes, yeah, automatic big crunch, that means I need to do nothing to get infinity points, which is very different than what the other New Game Minus X mods and the vanilla game are, are like, because normally this upgrade is huge, because you can just get it automatically. But now, I can fully automate runs before I get this achievement, and this is, this is just a game changer, seriously. Like, this upgrade's gonna be weak instead of very powerful, because normally runs are not automated until after you get this upgrade, but here, they're fully automated before I get this upgrade, so, yeah, that means when I come back in, like, a few hours or so, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of infinity points, maybe I'll even have enough to get these upgrades, these will be huge, 
for speeding up infinity runs and infinity points. I'm, I don't even think I'm going to even get this upgrade. This upgrade, or at least I'll not get it until I get some of these upgrades, because what this is going to do, it's going to be a 10% multiplier to infinity points. Like, may, maybe once I... Like, you see, it's on, this is only going to activate once every 60 seconds. Right now, the runs are more than 60 seconds, but if they get closer to 60 seconds, I may actually... This may become more useful. But, yeah, it's just, it's just exciting to get this. I'm probably getting about 7 infinity points per hour at this point, which means that for 24 hours, that's going to give me enough infinity points to get all of these upgrades. So, that yeah, that's pretty exciting. Seen a bit... Okay, I'm back about a couple hours later. I have 17 infinity points. It's enough to get this upgrade, but I mean, it does something. It increases my infinity points per hour by about um, almost one. And you can see here my fastest infinity is six minutes and 50 seconds. And actually another good thing about this upgrade is that it takes effect even when the computer's not running because I'm only getting like the faster infinities if the computer is running. If it's like sleeping, you see it takes longer. And it may take several hours, not just like almost an hour. So this will apply 24 7, which is nice. It's not all that much, but it's something. And one thing I actually want to do is, ch is tweak some automation settings because now it is so fast that almost all the time it's just resets. Because you can see, ev I even got a six minute or sub seven, seven minute infinity nine affinities ago, which means that it really doesn't have to do all that much with these upgrades. And I mean, I could try to save up until 20 so I can get this, which may really speed up my affinities, but I honestly think that it's probably worth it to actually get this upgrade because it'll just apply 24 seven. I think in total, it'll, it won't be like the huge jump in affinity points like other mods, but I think it's going to be like maybe a 50% increase in infinity points based on how much I'm on my computer. And yeah, so it's tweaking automation settings. What I think I want to do is set automatic tick speed boosts um, to make it so it doesn't reset at E307. So that happens at 168th dimensions. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting the max eighth use on reset to 150. So it doesn't have to do a huge tick speed boost reset, which takes maybe 30 seconds to get, or like, I would say 20 to 30 seconds to get back t um, to all the resets when I have, like, um, when I'm so close to infinity. It still will do the dimension boost, but it's just, it's, it's going to be so much faster. Another thing I could try to do is um, do something where I don't time dimension boost, or I I limit my time dimension boost until I get two or even three galaxies. So I think this is probably the best decision here. I think I think two galaxies is better than three because if I I'll, I'll set it to three just just as an experiment because I'm kind of getting close to the end of this infinity. You can see, I'm almost at the sixth galaxy, and yeah, getting the tick speed boosts really does take the bulk of the time because I just need it, it resets everything else and I mean ideally I wouldn't need tick speed boost at all but I that that's nowhere near possible at this point so like these upgrades are gonna be like lifesavers especially like I'm gonna be starting with like the fifth dimension unlocked and tick speed boosts which means the early parts of the infinities are gonna be faster which means I need to do less time dimension boosts so, yeah, you can just see that now I have six galaxies. I need to do four of these tick speed boosts instead of six. That actually makes a difference, and I wonder what my infinity time will be. The real reason why all the tick speed boost resets take so long is that the time dimension boosts also reset the dimension boost, and you have to do the it does the dimension boost one by one. Of course, I could hold, could hold D down, but I just want to see what the fastest natural run. I can get like with automation because that will really determine the bulk of the infinity points I will get. Okay, so we're now approaching infinity and hopefully it won't take speed boost. Hopefully there isn't a bug with the automation because the automation in this game is kind of wanky. 
I, I don't know what the, the rest... Yeah, here it is. Big Crunch. That took 659. Didn't really speed things up. But actually, I wanted to see if I can get three galaxies without any time dimension boost. And uh, it's possible. But it actually, no, actually, it's probably worth it, honestly. I mean, it takes a few seconds to get to the required amount of antimatter, but I don't need to do all those tick speed, or I don't, I don't need to do all those resets. So I think that it's actually worth it. it it's probably just going to say save a few seconds, but it'll help nonetheless. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try to let this infinity run just play out as normal, and then I'm going to do a run where I hold the D key down. And I'm probably just going to do that off camera, because all I'm doing is just holding the D key down. It doesn't really... It's not all that much. To, <laughs> it's not very strategic. But what that does do is that will give me a much faster infinity time, which will give me more galaxy points per minute, be, or galaxy points because of this achievement, and it'll help this upgrade. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so I did both of the runs with and without the D key. Without the D key, I got 6 minutes and 41 seconds. That's definitely an improvement. With the D key, I could bring it down all the way to 4 minutes and 48 seconds. So this, what that's going to do is it's going to, this is at an hour and 7 minutes before. Now it's at 48 minutes and 6 seconds. Over the course of a day, that's going to give me about a dozen more infinity points. So, like, that's why I'm so concerned over that. Maybe it's not like a dozen, but it's definitely considerably faster. And I'm, I'm going to want every infinity point that I can because it's not super fast. Like normally, the infinity runs are much quicker at this point, or it takes maybe two minutes to reach infinity. And like then, it would only take 20 minutes to get an infinity point. And, or even maybe the run, infinity runs are like one minute. So, I'll be getting like five or six infinity points for uh, per hour from this, and also I'll be focused on challenges at that point. But now I'm it's just trying to go for these upgrades, and I mean this is pretty good, but this is only about thirty infinity points per day. So I will want to also be like just having this active doing infinity runs because it's not very much. Usually it's like two hundred infinity points per day, so. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it go and just be doing doing runs like this for a while. I'll, next episode, I'm going to focus on getting these upgrades. And the reason why I can't get this upgrade, even though I have 10 infinity points, is because you need all of these up, all of the upgrades here before this, which is kind of stupid, but that's how the game does it. I really, I kind of wish you could get this, like, alongside these. But these will, these upgrades will definitely speed up my infinity runs a lot. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.